So one of the affiliates of CBC in the uh, in southern Ontario was out of Peterborough called Chex, C-H-E-X. This is 1983. You're going to hear uh, still this. So Brian Williams is still big uh, with CBC at this point. But get a load of the promos. If you're a Canadian over the age of, oh, I would say 45-ish, mm -hmm. closer to 50, if you're in that age group, get a load of the promos before the CFL game. Young will enjoy visiting with the friendly giant. The young adults will enjoy the competition among the area schools on Campus Quiz, Saturdays at 1130. That looks terrible. And the characters at a Vermont Inn provide the comedy on Newhart, Mondays at 9. The comedy. The comedy. Fridays at 8, the tough police precinct is the setting for drama in the multi-award winning Hill Street Blues. <laughs> Hill Street Texas. Blues. So nice to come home to this fall. Nice voiceover. Fame. Thursdays this fall. <laughs> Fame. Check. Another terrible show. And then, Brian Williams. Here comes. A CBC Sports Presentation. Yeah. Look at the music. Look at the graphics. And that was considered uh, pretty high tech at the time. CFL 83 is brought to you by oh, Carling O'Keefe. They paid some money. Oh, yeah. OV. OV. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Here comes to the stadium and our CBC Sports crew. Here it comes. Last week, the Toronto Argonauts moved closer to an inevitable first place finish in the East. The country's leading receiver, Terry Greer, threw a touchdown pass. Oh, Don was so good at so many things. And in the West, Look at the size of the end zones back place. then. The Edmonton Eskimos <laughs> Just huge. It's like the field. Calgary Stampeders, wow. 31 to 28. Look at and that. this afternoon, last year's Grey Cup participants meet for the first time in this 1983 season here at CNE Stadium in Toronto. It's a big game for both teams. The Toronto Argonauts Look at that. they have an opportunity to at least... Don Whitman, the class. Just the class of broadcasting at that time. The CBC Orange the Jackets. Yep. That so that's Ron Lancaster back in that time would have been doing color. He was great, yep. too. Yep, very good at it. And in the West, the Edmonton Eskimos yeah. could at least temporarily move into a first place tie with Winnipeg and BC. They meet tomorrow afternoon in Winnipeg. There Ron it is. Lancaster, the three Look. outstanding oh, players boy. in the Canadian Football League last week, are in action. The late, afternoon. great Ronnie. Sure, Donna, two of them are playing on the Eskimo defense. They're being led once again by last year's outstanding defensive player, James Parker. He was oh, quick, Parker. Yeah, quick. You know what? I'm sorry. I could watch this all day if I don't stop it. That just almost brings tears to my eyes. That was that was a very important era for me. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. <laughs>